Okay, hello, I'm back for my second video. I just want you to know I'm having to use my phone now because download tried to come through and shut off my iPad and <laughs> and I'm not very tech savvy, so um, bear with me. So now I want to keep connecting this back to the Fibonacci. So my previous video with the Twitter explanation, you see how with the linkage, with the very powerful force at work in the world right now with social media and coming out of the mouth, right? Okay, so the verbalness, um, which is a communication tool of our day and see how there was a match with the language, with the plague in Egypt. You see, so there's an example of that pattern. Okay, so we can see, ah, we can see how our timeline is lining up with that timeline, that event of the Exodus coming out of the bondage and the slavery, you know, be, so, so that's, an, that's one example. And, and so many of these videos I'm going to make, I'm going to keep demonstrating to you how we can see where we are in the stream of time in the Fibonacci sequence of repeating patterns. So the next one that I really want to share is the account where they were going to cross the Jordan River. Okay, so this is in Joshua. Joshua chapter 3 verse 16. And I'm going to read it because there's some powerful stuff here. Okay, the waters which were flowing down from above stood and rose up in one heap a great distance away at Adam, the city that is beside Zarethan. And those which were flowing down toward the sea of the Ereba, the salt sea, were completely cut off. So the people crossed opposite Jericho. Okay. So now I'm going to give you a little breakdown on how I do this with the word study. So first of all, what caught my attention is the way the river was described. It said the waters which were flowing down from above. Okay. So right there, there's a metaphor because we also know what you know, the, the, the water of life, what, where, you know, these, these life <laughs> waters, the source of life flows down from above. So it's a power, you know, so this right away, I saw this connected to life itself. And possibly the people are also a metaphor, like the, the mass of people uh, sometimes the Bible describes even people as being the sea. Okay, so that's important. But the next thing it's really now get a load of this. I didn't even know this was a thing. It said that where it stopped flowing. So this river stops flowing. Is it the river water of life stops flowing? At great distance away at Adam, the city. So there was a city called Adam. Okay. Well, we also have another city we're promised, New Jerusalem. So isn't that interesting? And we, you know, we know the story is in Adam, all are dying. In Christ, all are made alive through the adoption. So that really got my attention. And then it said that this city of Adam is beside Zarethan. And I thought, huh, whenever there's a, a word, like a, a name like that, I always look in at the definition because I have found there's always a deeper meaning. Okay, there is a huge deeper meaning. Zarethin or Zarethin, I'm not so good with pronunciations, means the first meaning is their distress. Okay, so the river starts flowing beside the city of Adam and their distress. So the river stops flowing when there's distress. 
in the city of Adam. Okay, that's the first meaning. So then I thought, again, root word. Let's go deep on this one. Hold on to your hats. It says, apparently from an unused root meaning to pierce. Okay? To pierce. Apparently from an unused root meaning to pierce or puncture. Okay. Okay. Draw your own conclusions on that one. Okay? Right. Okay. I think you, you, you know, so remember what they did to Jesus when they killed him. They also pierced him. They punctured him with a spear. Very interesting. I'm going to talk about, um, there's some other things I found about that with the stingers and also, um, the bronze serpent and the serpent's bite. So there's, there's metaphor there. So the fact, again, you see how I'm saying, oh, now look at this, this, con this, this language connection. So the other word that I found that was very noteworthy is it, this, this, it says that this, the waters that had been past tense flowing to the sea of the Arab. And so I looked up, okay, this place, Arab, because I thought, hmm, I want to see what that is. It actually is... It says towards the sea of the plain. So then the plain is Araba. So I'm just opening Araba and the, the dictionary meaning. And the dictionary meaning where the water was cut off and stopped flowing to. It says in the sense of sterility. Okay. To be a desert. To be barren, okay, in the sense of sterility, sterile valley of the Jordan, okay. So I thought all of those deeper words very significant, and then it said that that water was cut off, and then, but there is a group of people at that time that did cross and now there's something else n that was very notable that I might have to um, I might have to just tell you because I, I forgot to look up the scripture I think it's in Joshua maybe chapter 6 is also it said of the city Jericho one, when it was time for this group to cross it said that the city Jericho was locked down. It said, locked down, no one went in and no one went out because it was time for the arrival of the Israelites, which is a metaphor, a metaphor for the group of people who are going to navigate this paradigm change from a state of servitude to a state of sovereignty. Enjoy those scriptures. Enjoy these videos. I can't wait to get your feedback. Mm, I'm really, we got this. We got this. We got this.